With every new generation of Pokemon, we of course have those really strong Pokemon that everybody absolutely adores, but of course on the other side of the coin, we always have those awful Pokemon that really don't make any way into the competitive scene. With that being said, today's video goes over the question of who is the worst Pokemon of every generation. Of course, this is all my own opinion at the end of the day, and it's completely cool if you guys disagree with what I say in the video. Don't hesitate though to drop a comment down below about the video and if you found it interesting or not. Don't forget to leave a like on this video too to show your support and I'll be sure to bring out a new video very shortly. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already to keep up to date and follow my Twitter to hear updates about the channel. Both of those links can be found in the description down below. Now without further ado, let's get into the video and I really hope that you guys enjoy. Starting things off, we of course head over to where it all began, the region of Kanto, and the worst Pokemon for me in this generation is Farfetch'd. I mean, you don't really have to say much about this Pokemon as to why it's so bad, we all know why it's so bad. Its stats are awful, its move pool is pretty mediocre, and the fact that it didn't get an evolution just really puts this Pokemon in an awful state in the competitive scene. I mean, the abilities it gets, Keen Eye, Inner Focus, Defiant, I mean, they're nothing to play around with, especially when this Pokemon's stats are as low as they are. Are. And this Pokemon only has a stat total of 377, and that was an improvement as well. Generation 1 to 4, it only had a stat total of 352, so they've actually been kind to it a tiny bit. Not evolution kind, but hey, they've dished out around 25 more uh, points in this Pokemon's stat total. But anyway, 377 is the total, 52 HP, 90 physical attack, 55 physical defense, 58 special attack, 50, uh, 62 special defense, and 60 speed. And the move pool this thing gets, it, it's not great. It's, it's best attack I think is Brave Bird. I mean, but with a HP stat of 52, you ain't gonna, you ain't got much to play with. You really haven't. I mean, it's got some decent variety in like Brave Bird, Poison Jab, Knock Off, Night Slash. But like I say, the stats just let it down. I mean, it gets Swords Dance, it gets Roost. It's just, it just doesn't help though when you just can't do anything with it. I mean, it even gets Leaf Blade. It gets some decent moves and that's what I mean. If it got an evolution, this thing would actually be, oh, I'd hope, relatively decent. At least like push its stat total up to like 500 or something, but... No, this thing's definitely all, it's just never going to get out of the situation it's in. It's pretty much the joke Pokemon now, I think we've all confirmed that, but uh, yeah, Farfetch definitely the worst Pokemon in Generation 1 for me. Coming in next, we of course head over to the Johto region, and for me, the worst Pokemon in the Johto region is of course unknown. Again, just like Farfetch'd, it's pretty self-explanatory why this thing is so bad, and it's just because of its stat total and its move pool. I mean, only getting access to the one move being hidden power doesn't really help this thing out when its stat total of um, special attack is only 72, but its complete stat total is 336, so even worse than Farfetch'd. I mean, it has 48 HP, 48, you, may, you can breathe on this Pokemon and it'd be going to the Shadow Realm. Also has 72 physical attack, 72 physical defense, uh, 72 special attack, 48 physical defense, 48 special defense, and 48 speed. So not even breaking 50 on four of this Pokemon stats. Like <laughs> HP, defenses, and speed are just 48. It's it's bad. It's just bad. I mean, it doesn't get any other moves. Hidden power. It, you just gotta feel sorry for it. I mean, I get that they were put into the game just for like the kind of alphabet thing, and they were supposed to have like this massive thing in Johto to do with like legendary Pokemon and everything like that. But they're only really breakthrough with like in the third movie, and that's not even to do with the game. So I don't even know why this thing's so bad, but it, it really didn't get any love at all from Pokemon. And like I say, having a stat total that low, only having hidden power, and you know, the only thing that you got going for you is the alphabet, it doesn't really put you in the best position. And so for me, that is why Unknown is the worst Generation 2 Pokemon. Next up, we of course head over to the Hoenn region, home of Generation 3, and the worst Pokemon in Generation 3 in my opinion. You probably guessed it because I don't have a lot of love for this Pokemon, but it is of course Love Disk. And again, it didn't get an evolution, should have evolved into Alomomola. It didn't, even a lot, a lot of people did think that was going to happen when they first saw Alomomola. Everyone was like, hey, Love Disk isn't going to be as awful anymore. But no, literally no love shown to Love Disk at all. And again, just like, I mean, the main reason for all of these Pokemon being as bad as they are is their stats and their move pools. I mean, that's the main thing you're looking at in the competitive scene to see how they're diverse they are. Typing, of course, comes into it as well. But I think the main things are stats and the move uh, pools and everything like that. But, uh, I mean, being war type is not the worst thing ever. I mean, it's only weak to two things. But when you have a stat total of 330, 330, let me sink, let that sink in. The best thing this, this thing has going for it is its 97 speed stat. But it has 43 HP. 
30 physical attack, 55 physical defense, 40 special attack, 65 special defense, and like previously mentioned, 97 speed. So hey, the speed stat's not too bad, but when you got nothing going for I mean, this must be like one of the frailest Pokemon in the world, and it, it's it's not even touch. I mean, this Pokemon can barely tickle you with a stat total of 30 and 40 in its attack stats. I mean, it moves as well. It, it gets Sweet Kiss, it gets Hydro Pump, but Hydro Pump's gonna, you know, just hose you down. It's not gonna be doing much. It, it, the TMs it gets are just tragic in every shape and form. And it's just, <laughs> you can't really say much more about it. It's just a bad Pokemon. The, I mean, the heart scale's great. We love those. Learning moves and stuff, that's one of the main reasons that we got Love Disc. And it's supposed to be the Love Pokemon, but definitely no love shown to this Pokemon at all from Game Freak. And so that is why Love Disc is the worst Pokemon from Hoenn, in my opinion. Next up, we're heading over to the Sinnoh region, home of Generation 4. And the worst Pokemon for me in the Generation 4 is uh wormadam now wormadam has obviously three different forms having the plant cloak form the sandy cloak form and the trash cloak form all of them are awful they're just not good pokemon bug grass bug ground bug steel bug steel not awful but still this pokemon i mean generation 4 has some of the best pokemon such like infernape and you know there's some really really strong pokemon in there and wormadam just it's just awful it, i mean to say it's an evolved pokemon like having a stat total of 424 is just it is pretty it's pretty pathetic it really is i mean the plant form has 60 hp 59 physical attack 85 physical defense. i mean i won't go over through all of the stats because i'm sure you guys don't want to hear that but they're all bad i mean they don't really have anything going for them i mean the trash one has you know it's just awful i mean the physical defense of 105 for the sandy form not tragic but 36 speed i mean anything's outspeeding that they all have 36 speed so i mean they're definitely going to get outsped by everything unless it's obviously a trick room set but still who's going to run a trick a trick room set with this thing i mean get quiver dance which is good i guess but i mean if you haven't got the stats to back it up then i mean you can set up as much as you can but it's you ain't gonna have the time to get up to like plus six with this thing with the, the fact that it's just gonna die so easily with its like poor mediocre stats and everything like that i mean not a good pokemon i'm i'm not a fan of wormadam either i mean even the shiny's awful as well it's barely any different and <laughs> i just don't like this pokemon but it's just awful as well in generation four i'm a big fan of generation four one of my favorite generations but wormadam definitely one of my least favorite pokemon and it's awful in the competitive scene and that is why generation four's worst pokemon in my opinion is wormadam Coming up next, we head over to Unova, the home of Generation 5, and the worst Pokemon for me in Generation 5 is Watchog. Now, I mean, I might get a bit of backlash on this because there are a couple of bad Pokemon in Generation 5. Generation 5 as a whole didn't have loads of really good Pokemon. In fact, a lot of them were actually pretty mediocre, and Watchhog looks like a rejected theme park mascot character from hell. I mean, look at those unsettling eyes. He's just angry about life, and... He's a normal type, so, you know, not strong against anything, not weak against anything. I mean, well, he's weak against fine type, but, you know, he's got the immunity to ghost, which is okay. That's kind of nice. Always good to have an immunity. But with only a stat total of um, 420, with 60 HP, 85 physical attack, 69 physical defense, 60 special attack, 69 special defense, and 77 speed, 420 for an evolved Pokemon is not going to be on your wish list. I mean, the moves that it gets, it gets nasty plot, you know, not awful get some uh, you know some moves to settle with it gets like thunder waves and stuff to cripple pokemon but with 420 you ain't staying in there very long at all and it's got some pretty meager defense stats hp isn't great you know physical attack 85 is its best stat and even that's pretty poor it's a pretty subpar pokemon and like i say generation 5 is home to quite a few pokemon so this was quite a hard decision to make because there were so many bad pokemon in generation 5 i don't know if you guys have ever noticed it but when i was looking through the pokedex to pick out this list generation 5 really does let like the whole pokemon down as a, as a whole like I mean, the region itself is really, really nice, but the Pokemon that you can get in that region, you know, aren't so nice. But for me, that is why Watchhog is the worst Pokemon for Generation 5. Coming up next, we have the Kalos region, home of Generation 6, and the worst Pokemon in this region for me is Dedenne. Now, I'm not even going to argue, Dedenne is one of the cutest Pokemon you've ever seen. This Pikachu clone is adorable, and it's just a ball of fun. But its stat total definitely doesn't help it out in the competitive scene. It only has 431. Has a pretty nice speed stat to be fair of 101. But only has 67 HP, 58 physical attack, 57 physical defense, 81 special attack, 67 special defense. And like I said, 101 speed. Being uh, being electric and fairy means it is only weak to poison and ground. And does resist fighting, uh, flying, bug, electric and dark. But like I say, those resistances don't really help you out when your you know defenses are 57 and 67. The moves that it gets, not awful. Gets discharged play rough nuzzle nuzzle's kind of nice you know being able to paralyze something every single time but like i say i mean with these pokemon on this list the the fact that just they're, they're just the moves and the 
stat totals are so bad, like, you just can't really get anywhere with them. And you've probably already questioned, like, why is, like, Magikarp not the worst in Generation 1 with its awful stat total and everything like that? But, uh, this list is only for, like, fully evolved Pokemon, or, you know, Pokemon that can't evolve so far, Fetched obviously can't evolve, so, you know, it's just a single stage Pokemon, and so is the Dene as well, so I'm not gonna have, like, pre-evolutions on this list, because, like I said, I could've had, like, Sunken, I could've had, you know, like I say, Magikarp, this is just for, like, fully evolved Pokemon, or, like, single stage Pokemon, so that is why the Dene is the worst in Generation 6. Finishing things off though, and the Alola region's worst Pokemon in my opinion is Oricorio. Now, a lot of people are probably questioning this. I mean, Generation 7 have some pretty good Pokemon in like regards to the competitive scene and stuff, but the reason Oricorio is on this list is even though it has like it obviously has four different styles, being the Bailey style, the Pom Pom style, the Power style, and the Senzu style. But the fact is, they don't actually get any stab moves for any of those typings. They only get stab moves for their flying type attacks. They get like Hurricane and stuff like that, so they get the stab from the flying. But what's the point of having these other typings when they don't get any moves at all for that? And it just really lets itself down. Like, why doesn't the Pom Pom style get like Discharge or Thunderbolt or something like that? Like, it's an electric type Pokemon. Give it some help. Exactly the same with like the power and the sensory style and everything like that. I mean, it gets U-turn, but again, not getting any stab from that. I mean, it's stat total as well, pretty subpar. I mean, it has 4, 7, 6. It's not awful, but it's not great. Has obviously 75 HP, 70 physical attack, physical defense, uh, and special defense, 98 special attack, and 93 speed. So it's got some pretty nice speed and special attack stats, but again, not having any stab on the other side of things doesn't really help this Pokemon out. And it, when you come in on this Pokemon in the competitive scene, it's, it's a pretty safe Pokemon. Like, you know that it's not going to be able to hit you. Like, yeah, it's got an electric typing, but it's not got any, any electric type moves on. So you could easily come in with a water type on an Oricoru, you know, Pom Pom style. So that's what I mean. It's just not really helpful at all. And. You know, I mean, you could say, like, Wishy-Washy, Serial Form is worse, but again, that has the, you know, the School Form as well, which makes it a really good Pokemon, so that's why that isn't on the list. And for me, that is why Oricorio is the worst Pokemon in Generation 7. But with that, it does wrap up today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did making it. If you did enjoy the video, though, please do leave a like. I would really, really appreciate it. Like I said at the start of the video, I would also love to hear your guys' opinions, too, on the subject. So be sure to leave them in the comments section below. I do have a couple top fives coming onto your screen in a second. So be sure to give them a watch if you do have the time. And also subscribe if you do enjoy my content. That is everything from me, though. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Have an amazing rest of your day. And until next time, peace.